enabled companies to patent software. And even though I could have probably made a lot of money had I patented software, I fundamentally do not believe in the patenting of software, even though I've had to do it myself for, for venture reasons, because software in some ways is a literary piece of work. And what happens is when you take software, which is a communication form, and you try to own a whole process, then you actually stop innovation. And the whole goal of the patent process was to support innovation. So there's some significant flaws there where, you know, for example, Amazon's one click. You know, that's really a process. Now that starts permeating a whole bunch of other areas where people want to do that on interactive TV, other mediums, and it stops innovation in other areas. So I'm a fundamental believer that software patents should not be allowed uh, unless they can be proven it's a device that's being created. If they're sort of in a process area, it would be like, um, uh, you know, uh, Shakespeare patenting uh, uh, the tragic love story using Romeo and Juliet. That's what's going on with software, which means no one else could ever write a tragic love story again. Where, versus copyright protects Romeo and Juliet. Copyright protects email, the, which was the right thing to do. Other people have innovated beyond what I did, which is the right model.